Readable English this year? I would love to. Um, this year, I have I've I've taught basically first grade and kindergarten for 37 years. And so teaching reading was my passion. And this year I had the opportunity to be a reading specialist. However, because of COVID, I'm teaching second grade virtually. And um, it gave me the opportunity. My principal came in and said, we have a few students that are far below grade level in third grade. Would I be, could I squeeze in and work with some of them? And so, um, I started giving, I'm going to just highlight there. I could tell you stories on all the students, but I'm going to highlight this one in particular, a third grade student who I gave a phonics uh, uh, quiz to at the beginning of the year. And the only thing he could pass was consonant vowel consonant words. He read uh, 15 words per minute and he's a third grader. And so I started teaching him um, a phonics, basically, just like I would a first grader. And he was really struggling with all the rules. And he would forget all the rules. And every day he would come back, he, he would remember some, but he would forget some. And so then around um, October, when Mrs. Uh, when I heard about readable English, I... I mean, I just fell in love with it because I want to try something new. I want to try something that works. And so I said, can I do that with them? And so I started doing it. And I am not an expert at all in readable English because basically I just started around November. But the, this little guy learned all the glyphs in three weeks. He knew them before he left for, for um, Christmas break. He knew all of them. And he was so excited. All of the students that learned the glyphs were so excited. They loved all the little games that we had. I mean, their whole uh, personification changed when they came into the room because they were excited. They wanted to read. And just today I asked this little boy, I said, can you tell me your success? How do you feel about reading now? Because he was the jokester. He would come in and he would push his chair back he would try to make jokes because he didn't want to do any of the work. So he wanted to just be the jokester. And so now he's like, he's so excited about reading. And I asked him today, I said, your teacher is so proud of you. Our principal is so proud of you. And I'm so proud of you. Can you tell me in your own words, what changed for you? And I'm going to read exactly what he said. The grammar is not perfect, but I'm, I want you to hear what he said. <laughs> it helps me get more better at reading. Readable English made the difference for me. The first time I started learning the glyphs, I felt better. I wanted to keep practicing. It's almost making me cry. I know. I to keep practicing and practicing to get better and better. He said, I set a goal and I told my teacher, I want to read 100 words correctly in a minute. And so I wanted to tell all of you that um, he is, I started him out on first grade reading passages in readable English, because that's basically where he was. He was a beginning first grade reader and um, readable English just opened the doors for him. He has, he is now he was started out on a first grade reading passage at 39 words per minute, which, you know, he felt better because he was reading 15. And that was in December after he learned all the glyphs. And then in January, he had a couple weeks off where he was out because of COVID. And so we worked ourselves up to 60 and then he was gone for two weeks and we dropped down to 50. When he came back from COVID, I told Mrs. Petty, my principal, I said, you know, his accuracy rate is like 99%. Let's try a second grade passage. So we tried second grade passages and he was reading 59 at with 97% accuracy. So the last two couple of weeks, I started giving him third grade passages. I started in March 5th. I gave him a third grade passage. He read 76 words per minute with 99% accuracy. And on March the 12th, he read 79 words per minute 
with 99% accuracy on a third grade passage from Easy CBM. Oh, yes. He's so excited. And, you know, the best thing about it is he loves it and he loves school now and he loves reading. And that's the key. It's just because he was the one of them that he didn't want to be there, push the chair back, act like the jokester. Just a total turnaround.